There's even some talks about his daughter. His daughter? His daughter, yeah. Mm. Um, there, are, There's a lot of frogs there. Mm, so, yeah. Because the daughter is into frogs. It's her favorite thing oh, in the world. Wow. <laughs> but she, she's into like magic and all these things uh, as well. Mm. Interesting. There's also some talks about how like the frogs it's like it represents him coming back, Kairu. Oh, I got Kairu. Is awesome. Means coming back. His soul is still so strong even after he yeah. just sinned. And then her daughter, his daughter, is also strong <laughs> spiritually. Exactly. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Marcel. Hi, I'm Saruti. And recently, we went around six of the most haunted locations in Tokyo. And now we're actually going to talk about our experiences, so... Yeah, please enjoy our video, and... <laughs> the Taira no Masakado's grave. The graveyard is surrounded by tall buildings in the middle of the city. A place of an angry samurai rebel from the Heian period named Taira no Masakado. One day, the samurai had a dream that the sun god chose him to become the new emperor. So he rebelled until the current emperor at the time ordered for his arrest. His head was hanged on the market in Kyoto for people to see. His decapitated head mysteriously resisted decay for three months. It was said that his eyeballs continued to roll inside their sockets even after death. Miraculously, the head even moved from Kyoto to Edo, which is now known to be Tokyo. It was found by some villagers and this scared them. The villagers built a grave to please the anger of the samurai. It is said that the head was trying to find its missing body. I feel like somehow, maybe somebody at the time randomly took the head with them. I feel like this is something that people in the past would probably do can't surely say that this was something metaphysical. Construction workers who happened to disturb the grave had risks of accidents or even death. This was one of the stories. The finance ministry was constructing a building above this graveside. But in 1923, the great earthquake happened and destroyed a portion of the building. The finance minister died in a terrible accident not long after that. Many Japanese people who worked around the area visited the grave as a morning routine to help them start the day off. Graveyard. Hmm. I feel a little bit of sacred feeling. Maybe because of how they built the place or how they put like small decoration, like small stuff around the graveyard. Yeah, and the story itself is already spooky, so I would say I feel something there. Masakado's grave. Grave. Masakado's grave. Grave. Masakado's grave. Grave. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, coming into Masakado's grave, did anything change your perspective hearing about the story and post? Yeah, totally changed my life. It's really unexpected. Oh, because it's all decorated with frog. Right. Statues. Right, 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 right. I know that I saw in some shrines, mm. people put uh, small stuff around the shrines, like toys, small toys. Mm. Uh, but here's all frogs. But, you know, when you have something mystical or magical near your workplace, mm. it would be nice to get a touch of blessing every morning, right? Right. I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I feel like people actually go there to visit the grave a lot. So maybe it's just that. You know the people taking care of the area or the government they really want to make it like a proper place mm. i feel like the government respects it a lot by the articles that i read they really care about handling it because people actually lose their lives if they mishandle these things right i felt like this place was one of the places where there was a lot of spiritual energy it did not necessarily come from the place but at the time, there was a man who was cleaning the area around the grave. 
and he proceeded to pray very deeply in front of the grave. Right after he finished cleaning, I saw some sort of energy around him. It was this intense, smoky kind of energy. Maybe some people call it aura, but it was very, very big and high, especially when he was really deep in his prayers. Maybe aura, maybe ki or chi, I don't know, but it was like kind of like uh, fuming. Mm. Yeah, it was fuming. So that was interesting and not just uh, it's not just myself aside, but my other friend also aside and we just yeah. We what were... what's the color of the aura? Um no like usually when I see these things I don't see colors. It's just like you know how when you're in traffic maybe and it's like kinda hot and you can see the heat wave. Ah, that kind yeah, of I, I see, I see. Invisible, Makes sense. Like yeah. Distorted line, distorted. right? Mm. So I don't know if I can call it aura or anything, because aura usually people say that it has colors or whatever. Mm. Mm. But see. if I call it chi or ki, maybe it makes more sense. Mm. So we were praying, right? Mm. We were standing in front of the grave, mm. and he was like jumping ahead of me. <laughs> this like uh, like losing. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like someone got into and possessed him or something. Mm. I felt mm. like that. So I do not know what to say about that. Maybe some things are better left alone. Final verdict. Um, the of course, definitely this is a spiritual place. But it do is. you think uh, if you do, if you camp there, not saying it's possible. Nowhere to camp. Would you see like a ghost or something like that? Would you see <laughs> the spirit of Masakada San or? Yeah, I think we if we stay there for a while, mm. we're definitely gonna see something. Not if it's not spirit, then maybe that guy. Ah, oh, right. For me, it's like uh, I just don't wanna deal with the possible consequences of doing any of this. Yeah, like I said, you know, it's always good to have respect in these realms because we don't know anything about them. We don't know much about them. So yeah, I would say you would definitely have like a spiritual encounter. Mm. Either it be a push or a shove. Right. Of the area. Or, you know. Okay. Mm. So uh, yeah, mm. this is the answer. So yeah, that was the end of our haunted trip. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. And to check out the other videos and also the full video, please check out the channel. And just for your information, we're also doing this uh, Instagram astrology page. We mainly do that on Instagram, but we also have our own YouTube channel. So if you guys like, if you're interested in astrology and spirituality, please check it out over here. Yeah, so that's about it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. See you in the other videos. Thank you. That's the guy. Yeah, With oh man. With the energy. Like, oh man, this guy really freaked me out. I don't know, there's like a Twitter page of a guy who actually takes care of this grave. Maybe, wow, maybe that you was researched him. so deep.